Hi, this is France Cantor, cartoonist, illustrator, caricaturist, and toon talker, and I'm here with... Jim Bridges, and I'm the president of the Australian Cartoon Museum, and I'm glad you added caricaturist, because you are a good caricature. This is a follow-up of Caricature 1, um, and this is called a mashup, and this is all the different things you can use caricature. Mm. Um, there's Sir Alec Guinness, drawn by Stuart Billington, mm. and he was apparently in real life a real shy man, and so he's, he's, he's the, the other drawing which I don't know who did on the left that sort of shows that he's just a f an empty face waiting for the character to to to, to change. impose itself on it but if you look at that drawing you can actually it's see like an identikit or yeah, a game it, it is but if you look at that drawing you recognize you elements can, and then arrange them yourself in your mind yes but if you look at that drawing you can somehow see it's Alec Guinness yeah by the mouth and the eyes the shape of the head maybe yeah and, and maybe the eyebrows, but chin. And this is this is how this is the quality of the brain. So you can push a face extraordinarily. In this case, he's taken everything outside yeah. the face. So it's a puzzle. Yes. And you you have all the clues here, so that you arrange you do the caricature yourself. This is a caricature DIY. But this is how the brain works. Yeah. And it can still tell you there are little bits in there that tell you that's that's I think that's you know the, I think that's Alec Guinness. Alec you know? Guinness. Yeah. So it's yeah. a puzzle. Vision May the puzzle. force be with you, Alex. <laughs> now, this is um, uh, Jeff Kennett, and all he's done, he's done a caricature of him, Peter Nicholson's done a caricature of him in the first place, and he's just pushed it, pushed it, pushed it, because his margin was narrowing. As the, as the election was coming up, he, he was losing his, um, his um, uh, lead, mm. and he just pushed and pushed and pushed, and of course he's saying that he's an idiot because of the, the, br the size of the brain. Mm. The mouth stays the same. So this is just using caricature to tell a story mm. really mm. and uh, yeah um, the next picture is this is an example this is an election stoush between Paul Keating and John Howard mm. and how um, Peter Nicholson has used um, like a collage yeah collage, collage but he's used nuts and bolts instead of cut up pictures mm. or photos as a lot of people do and see even his hair he's got barbed wire and all that sort of stuff yeah. so, so it's it's a blood and guts battle that's what he's trying to say it's it's you can hear the noise and um and he <laughs> see, see he's got the bolt and the nut hanging from paul keating's nose so it's sort of pushing the caricature a little bit further using other pieces i just think it's interesting it just it's shows you clever you, it just shows you can use anything in caricature any, yeah. any type not just drawing you know uh, and John Howard here is... These, these are bad animals from now on. And so he's been turned into a plucked uh, chicken. Mm. Uh, but he retains his GST because that's the only thing he can actually... Um, Lay claim to. Yes. Bring, I brought this in. Yes. And, of course, um, that's another way you can ridicule people, turning them into animals. Mm. And then we have the, this picture that we saw before in the yeah. other film. There's his whole body and Babe 2, Pig in the City, the decline and fall of John Elliott, yeah. businessman. And um, David Rowe's done a great job there. Mm. Um, but, I mean... I didn't realise they was referencing Bay before. So yeah. it's a it's a trope, it's a movie trope. So yes. popular at the time. Yes, of this and, and that's what a lot of cartoons... 1994, Babe. Yeah, so a lot of cartoonists do that sort of thing. You they, take some they, popular they reference. The, yeah, with, with the, the moment in, in politics. Yeah. And, you know... <laughs> One of his... Um, I don't know if... I actually, don't know if John, we're, we're, John Elliott never said pig's ass, did he? No, he, he never did, said that. No. He did in Nicholson's... Um, yes, yes. Uh, but that's cartoons. a caricature of him as well. You know what I mean? Yeah. He never said it, but I mean, um, Malcolm Fraser never said um, life wasn't meant to be easy. Yeah. And um, well, it's kind of like a uh, and, popular. And, and Cary Grant never said come up and uh, <laughs> uh, in the uh, what's it? Mae West never said come up and see me sometime. Yeah. Now here is Napoleon the Third as a, a pig's ass. He has a pig's ass. So yeah. this is uh, uh, eighteen seventy one. Yeah. And this is another way you can. I mean, sort of just make him a pig makes makes his pig ass the mm. ass of him. So this is really a slap in the face. This yeah. is really criticising the guy. Um, and then here are, are the, the Prime Minister Julie Gillard was sitting with Goose and she's complaining and, and Bob Brown who was leader of the Greens he was really demonised and he's a wolf in, in sheep's clothing yeah um, and, and they're you know and they're talking about the news it's limited like a cartoonist card. and, and that's, that's who Bill Leake is yeah he works for the news limited hmm. um, and that's very who's afraid of the big brown wolf yeah 
and of course the bit now this is about how cartoonists generally use the nose as the main thing they caricature is they just make it you know and so here she had a large sort of nose but they just pushed it and of course she was um i, I thought she was badly well, you're inferring you what you're inferring with a big nose is like you know um you inf- you're infer- you, you're actually drawing attention to it he's this is quite sensitive because it's almost like a um you know, uh, a, a dig at uh, Pinocchio. You know, yes, Pinocchio because she tells, tells lies. The nose tells, gets bigger. That, that's exactly right. You could see the emotion. I mean, she's got she's got red eyes from crying. There's yes. a big tear rolling down her face. Yeah. Her mouth is sort of uh, like open. You know, and uh, the it, it, I think it's it's extremely um, um, emotional. Well, it's yes. a, full of emotion. This painting, yeah. this uh, caricature, and of course that's the simplest way caricatures are done. They just extend the nose. Yeah. Well, this this is like a symbol. Yeah. And the caricature is conformed and contained within the symbol. Yes. Okay. The next picture is Reagan. Mm. Um, versus Gorbachev and they use their nose as my missile is bigger than yours and of course they're banging missiles together and the background's got all smoky so it's, it's heating up um, but it, you know this is a way you can use the nose by putting things on the body and because let's just go back to that picture both faces are just basically illustrations mm. of what they look like in real life they're not really what you would call cartoons but by sticking it turns it into a cartoon and it also then becomes a caricature because it's telling a story about the the cold war yeah um and here we have um same idea again yeah though. except he, he's smoking a cuban missile not cigar. a cuban cigar yeah and of course he's got those funny eyes and he didn't do he, he you know i mean um Cast, castro was was really popular with caricatures they loved drawing him they mm. just loved him and all the hair and all that sort of stuff but here he's got the idea uh, of because he's, he's famous for his cuban cigars you couldn't get cuban cigars in america because of they they banned them mm. um and apparently the best in the world but then this is the smoking gun the smoking cuban missile that nearly brought us all to nuclear um you know holocaust in the in the in the 60s between america and russia mm. And, you know, um, the Prime Minister of Israel at that time was a hawk, and he's just turned the eyes into missiles. Very and clever. The, the point of the missiles is like the pupils of the eyes. Yes, yes. So and so there are different... This is how you can actually do things. Uh, people do things with glasses a lot too. Um, they make them bigger or smaller, or they actually make them the television sets and all sorts of stuff. Mm. Um, yeah, this is... Um, I, I, a lot of people actually have don't even see that. They just think it's a picture of someone's been... Uh, the Bagan's been drawn, uh, turned into an Asian or something mm. but it's just a very clever picture and so th- the cartoonist makes up his own rules so um, here you have um, the Polish uh, union leader yeah. and his moustache is turned into a chain and then it goes into the lock and then you see the Soviet. key the key is the Soviet symbol yeah so he's locked he can't do anything really yeah and Madonna using the crucifix she's been turned into a crucifix you know and her brazen use of religious imagery um, yeah, and of course, then um, Assad. Assad. He, he's a uh, his head is an actual um, Missile. bomb. Yeah, and he's a Backed dangerous by Russia. person. Yeah, he's a dangerous person. Yeah, because so he's drawn him as a yeah. How, so, I wonder how long got the how old that is though. Must be. Oh, that'd be thirty, 30 years 30 at least. Yeah. So yeah. nothing much has changed. No. No, Russia's still there. And, of course, this is 10 minutes to midnight, which means it's the end of the world because Saddam Hussein is supposed to have um, weapons of um, mass destruction. So the and arms of the clock are, are his moustache. His moustache, yeah. And he's got the skull on his hat, on his beret. Uh, and, of course, we found out that, well, this wasn't true at all. It was just lies just to invade him. But just show what you can do with the moustache. You know, these are different mm. aspects. You can put these in a character. So play with elements on the face. Yeah. Um, and next we have um, Robert, Robert Menzies, Menzies is the face of Australia and yeah. Francois Mitterrand was the president of France so That's they just use them in examples and of course uh, where where his teeth are and mouth is in um, in the map of Australia, that's called the Great Australian Bite. Mm. So they've just sort of, he's biting into our taxation, uh, taking a big bite out of our tax. Um, and yeah, it's just 
they are the face of the country and so you can you know so it's like seeing faces or things in in clouds yeah, and stuff yeah that yeah, everybody does that and yeah. so the, the cartoons just use it Very for their whimsical. own whimsical yeah nice. use it for their own thing and to tell stories and to tell stories exactly but they are the face of the country you know they're the leaders and here you have very clever yeah Elton John and Bernie Taupin wrote the words to his song so yeah. there he is in the glasses yeah and so um, and we all know what I mean the Liberace of rock and he's got a yeah. bit of uh, what he's got some pearls around his neck yeah. but that's it he's not really but the eyes I think the I think the artist is saying that the the Bernie Taupin is a very very important bloke to him mm. because he's his eyes you know mm. and that's just a, and of course uh, they link it up with the the stubble you know the stubble they just link link up the design with the stubble which I really liked mm. um, and here we have um, mixing <laughs> mixed match mixed match yeah like Mona Lisa like um, Mona Lisa to Mona yeah. Liza yeah. Liza Minnelli yeah. and, and Ma- then Marlon Brando instead of Marilyn Monroe yeah and so they're just mixed together so these are different Marlon things you Monroe. can do these, these are a bit harder to do because you have to like with the Marlon Monroe mm. um, you've got to be able to draw Marilyn Monroe and and Marlon Brando I mean he's got the Brando he's got the um, the jacket on who did this uh, I can't tell you I, I'm sorry I, this is um, I haven't been able someone sent me these and they were all I can tell you they were cut out of Playboy well, they're very clever they're American I think yeah, yeah. And, and this is topsy turvy. This goes back to the Middle Ages. They had mm. dolls that you turned upside down. One was an angel, and you turned upside down, and the dress comes down, and it's the, it's the devil. Mm. Um, and so that's a picture of Henry VIII, and he's not happy. And the reason he's not happy because that's his wife, who his first wife, Anne of Cleves, mm. and it's called topsy turvy. And so you know, um, there's another example here. But this is there is a Kim Beasley on the left, and this is. Um, John Howard, and when you turn it upside down, they become the other one. In other words, if this was done, as, this was never uh, published, but if it was published, it's virtually saying that you're getting the same, whether you vote for Labor or Liberal, you're getting the same thing, it's just that it's turned upside down. Yeah. And this so is, this is more like, I mean, using this in the Middle Ages is dangerous because yes. it's, uh, it's yes. inferring that the, yes. your state, your head of state is a crook. Well, or something. Yeah, well, they, they have a picture of the Pope, and when you turn the pi- making fun when of you turn the picture upside down, it was the yeah. devil and yeah. stuff like yeah. that, you know. So it was like a, a subversive. A, yes. It was like um, it's a, middle-aged graffiti. A, yeah, it's a sneaky way of attacking someone because when you turn it upside down, you know. But there's pretty extreme cases, um, and then we have another double portrait. Um, which is the face is divided in half and they share an eye. Mm. And there's um, uh, there's a lot of corruption going on in Queensland. Mm. And um, uh, Russ Hines on the left was mm. the minister for races and, and roads. And roads. And yeah. he built all. The, he had a property and he built all his roads in, uh, around an area where there was not fixed roads. Yeah. Where, where he, he ran horses, where he had his own horses and stuff like that. Um, and that's a double portrait done by Peter Visca, and you have to turn it upside down to see what they're talking about, and they're talking about abortion. Mm. Um, there's that. There's a triple portrait. We I think we talked about the other film. We can talk about it again. There's um, there's it's a body. Many, but there are more than three in there. Well, there's it? four really, because there's the body of Bart. Of I don't understand the Rembrandt um, reference. Well, I think it's just. I think that's Murdoch because Murdoch's showing. You know, we'll, 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 we'll do it again because you might have seen the first film. That it's got the body of Bart Simpson, mm. the head of Homer, uh, Simpson. Homer Simpson, the glasses mm. of John Howard, mm. and the eyes of Rupert Murdoch, mm. and and he's selling the papers, mm. his papers, and this refers to um, Pauline Hanson. A, yeah, but but the car the cartoon refers to um, leading up of the election. Um, if if you're a politician in Australia and you're on R- Rupert's good side, yeah, well you got more of a chance of winning, and that's what that's about. Right. Um, and so he put all these elements together, and um, yeah, and also uh, John Howe was known as just eyebrows growing out of his glasses. Yeah. And that became a trope, a cartoon trope. Yeah, like um, like Groucho. Yes, and here we have uh, the extreme version of this. This is an indecent exposure by Gerald Scarf, mm. and of course, um, you know he's um, he's a dirty old man. And this, all those, if we go to the next picture, 
So you just the closer, the more you look at it, the more faces you see yes. in the picture revealed, so, and they're revealed in a very shocking way. Yeah, because it was indecent exposure. Yeah, and these are all the leaders of the time of the sixties. Yeah, and Mao's at the top, isn't it? Well, Who's the Pope is at the right hand shoulder. Right. And then on the left hand side, you've got the hair underneath the arm, and that's the hair of Mao Zedong. Yeah. And then he shares an eye with the German Chancellor, which then goes into the nose on the right. And then under yeah. him is George Pompidou yeah. uh, on the left hand, facing left hand side. And in between yes. him is, is uh, Nixon. Nixon. Um, and, and his nose is pretty extreme. And that's then. Another one on the right. But Nixon's right hand eye shares it with LBJ. They oh. share the eye. And then so. The LBJ's nose goes down, and in between him is Ted Heath, um, who has that long nose because they were uh, the that that what's that plane that flew over the Atlantic really fast? The um, Concorde. The Concorde, and because um, Edward Heath was the Prime Minister at that time, they drew him with the nose of the Concorde all the time, and halfway down his nose are two eyes, and they're they're. Um, Enoch Powell, who was a right-wing fanatic, yeah. and he shares his nose. And then down the bottom, when the nose finishes, that's the nose of uh, Brezhnev, oh, who was yeah. the Russian leader. Yeah. And then Brezhnev shares the eye with Idi Amin. On the his left hand eye shares with Idi yep, Amin. On the left. Yeah. yeah. So hmm. they're all the things you can do in a in a portrait. Now, this is extraordinary. You've got to be pretty skillful to do that. We're only showing you part of the picture. And now we go in. So you can now see. Um, uh, close, close up, up of, of Nixon in particular, and how that all that all so that. So they just haven't put the whole face, and obviously yeah. you're joining one face to another face, so yeah. you're sharing a lot of elements. And of course, look at the it's hand. Quite the, the hand a challenge is, to do. The this. hand is death-like. Yeah, it's but it's just what, what you can do with cartooning. It's just it's mm. got no rules. It's got no but boundaries. You can do anything you want. Mm. And then um, we go on to the Doreen Gray portrait, which and here's a picture of Richard Nixon mm. when uh, Gerald Scar was in England, uh, sorry, when he was in the Vietnam War, he actually saw a lot of uh, a lot of violence and he saw a lot of people in hospital with burns. Mm. Um, and so he got obsessed with his work with burns. And here, um, here Richard Nixon has a, a hate bomb mm. and he basically says... Uh, with, a, with, a, with a fuse. Yes. And uh, he says, I'll take you with me if you try and kick me out, which we know we got kicked out. Mm. And here's the, it's the ultimate Dorian Gray portrait. Mm. Um, and the Dorian Gray portrait is uh, the worst possible attack you can do as a caricaturist the worst possible and here is you, you just have his mouth so big it's as it he's goes down to his feet and you know if i go i'll take you all with me and it sort of shows the madness of the man um and of course um it comes from the dorian gray comes from the book of the um, oscar, wilde. oscar wilde where the young man mm -hmm. has a terrible life shocking and he does a deal with the devil and he always looks beautiful but his painting takes on the, the aging and all the sins yeah and and that's a that's a word that dorian i mean caricature is supposed to um get stuck into people but a dorian gray is a real savage attack mm. okay well well, it's a very interesting. Um, it just gives you all insight. the ideas you can do with caricature. It's, yeah, it's got you know, it's up to your imagination what you can do. Right. So start to see faces in in fruit. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Archimboldo effect. You know. Yeah. The Archimboldo effect. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. And you know, you um, you know, people have been. There's a famous story about a guy who was struggling in the snow and he's going to die, and he, and he's going to die, and then he's completely exhausted because he's lost in the snow, and he looks down, and and uh, the snow has melted near this rock and it's the face of Jesus mm. so that kept him going and he kept going it's all these we see faces everywhere in trees and clouds in particular but this is the caricaturist these are all you know anything is possible this is the hard, so anything is the possible yeah and yeah. in fact a lot of Gerald Scarf's actually um, giving us nightmares yes with this stuff <laughs> well uh, happy dreams everybody yeah definitely this is Jim Bridges right. saying uh, till next time okay See you later. Bye-bye.